What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Kaiju Conservative coming at you once again with another Hurricane Irma update. This is current information as of 8 p.m. on September 6th. So right now, Hurricane Irma is still a Category 5 storm. It still has maximum sustained winds of 185 miles an hour. Right now, it's located at 19.1 north and 66.1 west, uh, which puts it just a little bit north of uh, Puerto Rico. Now, this storm is expected to uh, threaten the United States. In fact, the current track you'll see uh, has that cone of uncertainty pretty much covering all of Florida. Uh, and it has the storm making a northward turn uh, around about yeah, around about Saturday or so, mid-Saturday afternoon, uh, with landfall being around the Miami area at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, and then it's going to basically skirt up the coast of Florida and have a second landfall, uh, possibly in Georgia, possibly in South Carolina. I have heard uh, Charleston uh, being a likely uh, candidate for the second landfall. Now, of course, with Irma, uh, we really have absolutely no idea what it's going to do, even though we've got that that five-day track going out. Uh, the storm could do pretty much anything at this point. It could shift to the west, and it could completely smack Florida. Uh, it could shift to the east more and it could go northward miss florida almost completely and smack the hell out of the bahamas uh, the bahamas by the way are currently under a hurricane watch as is a good portion of cuba uh, we also have the eastern coast of cuba uh, that's under a tropical storm warning um, with a whole bunch of hurricane warnings uh, in in between the Dominican Republic and Haiti, uh, their northern coasts have a have a hurricane warning. Now, the main main thing to remember with this storm is not to panic. Don't pan panic. Don't freak out. Uh, make your preparations. It may follow. It may hit Florida. It looks like at the moment it's following a very similar track to uh, Matthew last year. And while Matthew didn't directly hit Florida very much, it still caused a lot of uh, damage on the coastal areas. So we could be looking at that same situation with Irma. Uh, make those preparations, um, but again, don't panic, don't freak out. Pay attention to your local news stations. They're at local news in my area, at least, is actually doing uh, a very good job of covering this storm and basically repeating the line that I'm repeating. Um, don't freak out, don't panic, but do prepare. So uh, just keep that in mind. I know in Florida, stores are are running low on supplies. Uh, there was water, there's water shortages throughout uh, the Florida area. I went to Walmart today uh, to pick up some soda. I already have water. I bought it earlier in the week, but uh, they had a line just for water that basically wrapped around the inside of the store and went outside the front door. So if you haven't gotten water, be sure to do that. Uh, if you don't want to brave the long lines, something that I'll suggest doing, I've done this in the past with uh, various hurricanes, uh, take some plastic bags, fill them up with water, stuff them in your freezer. You get ice packs, which if the power goes out, that's going to help keep, a, keep your fridge cool and uh, help help keep your food from spoiling, hopefully, uh, make it last a little bit longer. You can use them, if you're injured, you can use them as an ice pack uh, for that if you need to. You can also thaw them out, drink the water. Um, so it's a, something that's very, uh, very useful. I would definitely recommend doing that. I'm going to be doing that this weekend myself. Um, next update... I'm not going to be able to bring that to you. Uh, I've got my day job tomorrow, which, yay, hooray for that. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, I will be honest, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I hate doing these Irma updates. I really do. I, I this Out of all of the podcasts that I do, this is these are the worst because it, it forces me to, to think about Irma and uh, think about where it's going to go, which I'd rather not do, but... 
you know, I do it anyway for you guys, for you, for you listeners out there. Uh, maybe to uh, hopefully hopefully help you guys out a little bit and uh, uh, give you some good advice for the storm. So uh, I'll try and bring you another update tomorrow night uh, if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, other than that, I have included the uh, the National Weather Service website in the uh, description of this video. So feel free to stop there and uh, track the storm for yourself. They do provide updates. And uh, just pay attention to your local news and uh, see, see what they're saying. Um, they're going to have some decent information for you folks out there. So uh, all of you folks in Florida, all you folks in Georgia and South Carolina, Definitely pay attention, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next video. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. Do me a favor, go ahead and leave a like on this video. It does help my channel out. Also, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit that little notification button so that way you'll know whenever I upload a brand new video. And once again, thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time.